Hi there. Now, for this example, we're asked to prove the identity cosec theta all divided by cot theta plus tan theta is identical to cosine theta. So, if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, you can fast forward to check out the method, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. Well, first of all then, in the usual way, we'll just put proof here. And which side would we take? Well, it's going to be easier to take the left-hand side in this example, purely because it's a fractional term, and we've got to reduce it down to a non-fractional term. And also, I feel that it's easier to turn functions like cosec and cot and tan, for that matter, into sines and cosines, which we should be able to reduce down to cos theta. So we'll start with the left-hand side here. So we've got cosec of theta, all divided by cot theta plus tan theta. So what's this going to be identical to? Well. If we've got to get down to cos theta, then I'd want to change any of these functions into terms of sines and cosines. So cosec theta is the same as 1 divided by sine theta. So we'll put 1 divided by sine theta then. And all of this is divided by, and for cot theta, well that's cos theta over sine theta. And then for tan theta, we should be familiar with this as being sine theta divided by cos theta. Now what we've got here is a very untidy fraction. It takes up four levels, if you like, okay, rather than the traditional fraction here taking up two levels. So what I want to do is remove the sine theta here the sine theta in the denominator here and the cosine theta here. And to do that, we choose the lowest common multiple of those values. And that's going to be sine theta cos theta. So we multiply the top of the fraction by sine theta cos theta. And we multiply the bottom of the fraction here by the same value, sine theta cos theta. So multiplying top and bottom of the fraction by a value like this is the same as multiplying by 1. So it's not going to change the value of this, just the appearance. And so what we get then is that 1 over sine theta multiplied by sine theta cos theta gives us just cos theta because these two signs cancel out. So we get cosine of theta. And this is all divided by, so we've got two terms here. Multiply this first term with sine theta cos theta. The sine thetas cancel, just leaving me with cos theta times another cos theta. So that'd be cos squared theta. And for this term, if we multiply this with sine theta cos theta, the cosine thetas cancel, just leaving me with sine theta times that sine theta, which will be plus sine squared theta. And we should be familiar with the fact that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is identical to 1. So we've got cos theta divided by 1, which is clearly cosine of theta. And there we go. Okay.